Recent estimates predict that the number of devices connected to IP networks will be more than three times the global population by 2023. At the same time, as device connectivity continues to grow, so will the rising threat of cybercrime. We often use the term um, Internet of Things or IoT devices, and that's basically what a connected device is. It's, it's simply a device that's able to connect to the Internet. I think it's human nature for us to try to be more efficient, right? We want to build technology that's going to help us do things easier. So the best thing you can do is, is educate them and try to make them understand the dangers of buying that random uh, smart light switch and using it. You might think it's benign, but you actually could be introducing risk into your, your home office for sure. While advances in technology are the main driver for economic growth today, they also contribute to a higher incidence of cyber attacks online. Many of these devices don't have basic security measures. A lot of times you want to change the default username and password on a device because they can be guessed or they can do this thing called brute forcing where they try tons of passwords to try to break in. So by us sharing um, you know, the different tactics and techniques and procedures that these different groups are using, that really helps us defend ourselves because even though one company may have been hit by a cyber attack, they just protected a huge swath of other companies. At the same time, increased geopolitical tensions across various regions of the world pose the prospect of even more severe cyber attacks on U.S. critical infrastructure. Cyber criminals are most often motivated by financial gain. They're looking for easy ways to make money. Most of the times they don't care who their victims are. Um, other times they do. Of course, nation state actors often have different motivations other than financial gain. So the rising political tensions are concerning because we know that nation states have attacked industry and critical infrastructure in times of peace. So in times of heightened tension, uh, it's we need to prepare for them to increase the level of, of attack. In order to effectively manage the complex and sophisticated nature of cyber threats, companies must rethink security. You look at the scope, uh, the scale, and the impact of recent cybersecurity attacks that we see every day, that's gotten people's attention. It's hard not to hear about it. Um, investors are being more educated, they're more savvy, they're more aware of cybersecurity, cybersecurity attacks, and how they represent a very real uh, risk to the business. I know it might sound like a cliche, but security, teamwork is very important when it comes to security. Um, and sharing is really caring. I, I know it might sound a little silly, but I know after 9-11, there was a slogan that came out called, see something, say something. And in the industry, we need to adopt that too, but we need to add, share something. So it should be see something, say something, share something, no matter what organization you're with. So whether it's a software vulnerability, whether it's a different attack vector, it's very important to be able to, to share in the industry. Now, an industry-leading model is helping industries and governments manage today's threats while preparing for the threats of tomorrow. The IT ISAC provides a trusted forum for member companies to share cyber threat intelligence with each other. And the IT ISAC is a nonprofit organization that enables this collaboration among member companies so that they can secure themselves, also their customers. And by doing this, they secure the information technology industry as a whole. So it's not always about running to the latest and greatest technological advance or, or, cyber, or cyber solution out there, but it's really looking at, do you have the processes in place, the policies, the procedures? If there is an issue, how quickly are you able to identify, to be able to remediate and recover from those incidents? We will need artificial intelligence and machine learning to actually help us uh, achieve that next level of security uh, best practice. Using enhanced technologies to identify and stop a cyber attack, ITISAC enables collaboration and sharing of relevant, actionable cyber threat information and effective security policies and practices. The basic premise of the ITISAC is that by collaborating, we can better defend ourselves than we can by navigating this complex threat environment ourselves. Cyber attacks, the critical thing is time. You, know, you have very little time to orient yourself to what is being attacked and how to mitigate that attack. What the IT ISAC is really about is the ability to be that force multiplier uh, to businesses or companies that may not have access to the collective intelligence, experience, and the data 
that these other companies bring to it. The IT ISAC acts as that vehicle, that conduit, to efficiently and effectively convey that information, that awareness of threatening activity to its membership. We're all stronger together than we are separately. Serving as a force multiplier through member collaboration, the nonprofit organization has been recognized by the Department of Homeland Security and the IT Sector Coordinating Council as the designated information sharing forum. It's actually very refreshing that members actually seek to share very, very proactively because they're excited. This is an exciting time in the industry and that sharing is contagious. And it's only through that that we learn from each other and we can actually create better defense posture. You're always looking for the indicators, the, the kind of the, the leading indicators of, a, of an attack or what is the, the next best thing or the next greatest thing that, that the bad guys might be looking for. Effectively communicating that is what it's all about and effectively communicating that in a timely fashion. That's what the IT ISAC brings to the membership is that vehicle by which it can be communicated through weekly, daily calls, sessions, and that's what the collaboration is all about. That's the central core. It's where's my information? How am I protecting this information? And that's at that very macro level. And then of course, as you build up to organizational level, it'll continue. We, we will be around for a while and it'll be a constant cat and mouse game.